So let's talk about some more things geared towards the career. Mm -hmm. So um, what's some advice you can give someone that's trying to, you know, um, come up in the YouTube world or even just, you know, following their dream, try to pursue something new? Like, what is something that you would say it was really important when you were coming up that you felt? The main thing that I can say is to be consistent. People... Um, especially in the age that we are now with the likes and all that stuff, it's very easy to get discouraged because your video is not getting as many likes as somebody else's video. First of all, you have to understand that just because somebody gets more likes than you does not mean that their content is better than yours. That they don't, you know, they yeah. don't coincide. Like popularity and, and talent, it don't go together. So, or not even necessarily talent, but skill. So you have to first understand that. And then you have to understand that you have to keep going. You have to keep going because even if your video, this is also something that people don't understand. Even if your video does go viral, okay. What you going to do after that? Right. What's next? What's next? So for me, there's a constant pressure of, you know, just continue, continue, continue. But that's the advice that I would give to everybody. You have to be consistent because don't get discouraged. Don't even focus on that. Focus on the content. Focus on whatever you're doing. Focus on that. Don't focus on how it's perceived and all that stuff. Just keep going, keep going, keep going. Before you know it, you'll you'll have some viral videos in there. You'll have some gems and whatever you're doing, but you can't get there if you give up. Gotcha. Be consistent. Gotcha. We've all been in relationships that we ain't got no business being in. There, Come on. Know? Mama said don't do it. Friends said don't do it. But guess what? You did it anyway. Ah! You just couldn't help yourself. Shut up. Mm. In your bones. But you know what? Um... <laughs> it goes full circle eventually. It does. And you will you will leave it alone. Yeah. So, but you gotta go all the way through it. See? You got through it. Because Hello. you can't see the rainbow or the sunlight till you get to the end of the cave. Yeah. And really to end up in a um to end up in a relationship that I feel like is healthy and happy and not full of dysfunction, you do have to go through those things first. Because it's just sometimes some people Typically, I'm the type of person I can just hear about something and, like, understand what it means and not have to go through it. But relationships was not that area in my life. No, I had to go through a few yeah. situationships. Had to go through it. Had to go through a few heartbreaks. Come but on. thank God. Talk about it. For his grace ah! and his mercy. Because I have learned. And, you know, I can't say that I wouldn't go through it again. But what I will say is I'll have a different outlook on it. This That's time. real. Because I can't control it. Because I can't say that I will go through it again. <laughs> Anywho, so with that being said, what is a bad situation that you were in that you feel like taught you the most? <sighs> um, the one that taught me the most is the one that really didn't present itself as um, just a dangerous situation. Because, see, I feel like in life, especially in relationships, you're going to get the person in the situation that you never thought about. Because to me, I was always very one-sided when it comes to cheating. So I didn't attract a lot of cheaters. So I tra you attract that situation that you just never sat down and thought about. Like, dang, what if they are going through something? They kind of giving up on a relationship. That was, the, that was my... I don't want to give too much. But I was in a situation where... I was getting 50% mm. because of something that happened in this person's life. And I was begging for 100%. Begging, begging, begging. But I just ended up having to say, oh, you can't. You're supposed to lean um, on me, not away from me when something happens. So, yeah, you're going to get that, that situation that you never thought about. Yeah, I can, I can see that. Yeah. So, as we grow older. Older, old <gasps> AF. And you realize, like, you know, what's really going on in the world. Uh, what are your goals? Like, are you wanting to get married? Do you want to have children? Are you ready for that? Or are you still like, nah, I got some time? Children, I'm going to say no at the moment. Because I have a lot of um, anxiety issues. <laughs> and the little children's running around. <laughs> it just makes me like, sit down, everybody sit down. Because I just feel like they're going to fall and break their nose. and So I'm just too paranoid okay. to be a parent. Because I'm just like... What about a husband? Um, I'm down. I feel like I want to experience 
I want to go all the way through it in the sense that I want to experience all these other things first. I feel like I don't want to jump into marriage and then that be, and that's it, you know? Yeah. Like sure. wait it out, you know, date, you know, all of that stuff. And then when it's, when it feels right, just like kids after I've been married and we have seen the world and done all this stuff. And it seems like the next logical right step to have kids, then have kids. But yeah, no, everything is, is, is I'm fine for now. <laughs> Okay, okay. So what is Cameron J's standpoint on uh, situationships? Because these days we all do know oh, that relationships don't really develop easily. Either you talking, situationshipping, mm-hmm. or you just cutty buddies. So what's your standpoint? How do you get out of the that area? How do you get out of that, like, that unknown area to actually dating and get into a relationship. What's some advice, I guess I'd rather say, that you could give someone to who is looking for something more solidified? Well, first of all, I want to say, you end up in a situation because you didn't have clear boundaries. Mm-hmm. You end up in a situation because you did not already pre-think. You got to pre-think, people. Mm-hmm. You got to pre-think about what you want before it's standing right in front of you. Right. So that way you can recognize what's not right. But if you just kind of like, um, I want a boyfriend, that's not very, you got to be more specific than that. True. Because that can come in a lot of different forms. <laughs> so I think first of all, it's about having those boundaries and being clear about what you want. And as far as getting out, you got to put your foot down. I was just talking to my other friend the other day about somebody has to be the person to keep a relationship from going in circles you know have you ever been in that situation where it's just like y'all stop talking y'all get back together y'all stop talking nobody puts their foot down and say this is not healthy we cannot do this we're not doing this anymore i'm blocking your number i'm deleting your number i'm deleting you off everything somebody has to be the person to do that aka you You, if you are in a situation you have to only you can prevent forest fires only you and the thing is you have to have the conversation with the person true because that's also what I really find like over the years, people are afraid to have the conversation of what are we doing? I don't like asking. She don't. She don't. But like, you have to doing? say, what are we doing? And it's to. so true, guys. Like, if you're not asking, what are we doing? You're going to be mad. You ain't going to yeah. know if you can react to things because you don't know where your place is. Yeah. And that goes back to like going with the flow. If you meet somebody and they say, oh, I'm just going with the flow. Run for your life if you know that you want a relationship. Right. Because you know what you want. And the flow is the not flow conducive. The flow just flows, baby. It don't stop. It don't, it don't go don't, nowhere. It don't, Hello. It don't sink. It don't Come on. rain. It just flows. Come on, somebody. Over and over again. Around and around and around. I've never liked that. And I've always, and I think that goes back to me being black and white. Like, if I meet somebody and they say, oh, I'm just going with the flow. You know, I'm not. Okay. Because I know what I want. And it ain't the flow. Because the flow don't flow nowhere. Amen. <laughs> All right. So, um, getting... because, hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, uh. Because if somebody, I'm very passionate about this, as you see, if somebody wants to be in a committed relationship, they will say that. Mm. And I feel like I had, to, I had to say that because a lot of women, they, they don't get that. They, well, he, well, well, no. If he wanted to be in a relationship, you would know. If he wanted to be there, he would, sis. You yeah. wouldn't have to ask him. You I had to say it was on my calling. heart. You wouldn't have to keep calling. You wouldn't have to keep texting. You wouldn't have to wonder because he would be, okay, listen. You got that person that you chasing behind. You want them and you what you're doing. You always thinking about them. But then on the flip side, we also usually have that person who's, huh, why do they keep texting me? Leave me alone. That person that's blowing up your phone. Woo! Ladies. That's the person that you probably need to be paying more attention to because they're paying attention to you and i'm not saying go get with the next person that just texts you all the time i'm saying that you need to give that a chance and see you know see if there's something there with that but i also understand that we we want to grow we want to get our hearts broken ladies so. in 2018 let's stop chasing these men it's the wrong direction they're supposed to be chasing us and the men that's chasing you probably are gonna do you right those good guys that we leave to the side yeah. for the guy that seems cooler or mm-hmm. more interesting. Nice guys finish last. Nice guys finish last, but you know what I have learned? What you learned? 
those nice guys are the ones that really care for you mm -hmm. and are about you. And that's the thing. I want people to realize that you need to be with someone who is all about you. Yeah. Growing up, my grandma always told me, you need to be in a relationship with someone who loves you and cares about you more than you care about them. And I didn't understand It's a little bit she, harsh, but I get it. I didn't understand it when she said it. Because I'm like, grandma, well, why would you want to be with somebody and they like you more than you like them? But if they that into you, you won't ever have to wonder. You won't ever have to question. So in 2018, let's make it a thing. Like, y'all leaving people in 2018. Let's leave that spirit of chasing ah. niggas in 2018. Amen. Cheers to that. Come on. We're going to ask you just a couple more questions, you know. Okay. So what does Cameron J do for fun? Like, outside of relationships, like, what do you thoroughly enjoy doing? As of lately, just like riding in the car and talking to myself. Cray, cray. Cray, like, dee, ree, ree, ree. But really, I think that it's important because I went from, um, I'm an introvert, so I went from, like, being completely by myself and doing everything by myself and, like, flying and traveling and doing all these things to being in a relationship and you're with that person all the time. Fine, great, that's fine. But at the same time, you have to find balance. And I really believe that God has been trying to tell me about balance because I've been mm. seeing the word everywhere and hearing a lot of people talk about it. And you really just have to... You know, you can be in a relationship and you can also make time for yourself because the strength of your relationship, the strength, hold on, mm. of your relationship is going to come from the strength of you as an individual. I believe that. Yes, yes. Mm. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, don't lose your identity in these relationships. Don't. Oh. Stay, stay true to self, you know? Yeah. And share your creativity or your journey with your partner you know, later, but you don't have to do everything together. Yeah. So maintain your own identity. Very I like important. That. Um, so uh what is Cameron J's twenty eighteen What you about to resolution? say resolution? Like what do you want to do? Like what are some things you want to tackle this year? Well I wanna um lose weight but that's like every year. So mm -hmm. I've been chasing this. We're not even gonna bring years. that right, we're not even gonna bring that one up. <laughs> I feel like that's like an obligatory resolution for everybody. So Scratch that. I really want to, going back to what I was just saying, make more time for myself again, you know, really start writing back in my gratitude journal. Um, and really, this this one I haven't really even talked to nobody about. But I just really want to be like the nicest person that I can be in every moment. I resonate with that so much. Yeah, like I just want to be like... That person that's just like... You know, you want to be that person that hey, you be like, they are so sweet. Yeah. Like, and and just because I know that the, there's so much going on, I've seen a lot this year, and I know that everybody's going through something. You know, everybody's going through so much in their personal life, and, and now with Instagram and all social media, everybody's you know showing the best of their life. But really, I just don't want to make anybody's day more difficult than it has to be, you know? Yeah. And I think, like, when I go to to walmart and the woman is like super nice and i just when i walk out i think you know she just made my day like easier just because she was nice she was nice. and i want to be that for for everybody that i come in contact with i like that yes. i like let's that toast, let's, let's toast, toast to, to that. being nice but don't don't let people uh step over you baby. Yeah. don't get it twisted <laughs> like i ain't been saved that long i ain't no killer but don't push me okay well, Kimmy Bear, I want to thank you so much no. for coming, <laughs> sitting on my couch. You have been a treat, and I hope your 2018 is shop-hopping. Shop-hopping. And I hope it's full of prosperity, because that is my yeah, word this year is prosperity. Yes. And I hope it's full of prosperity and happiness and peace. Thank you. And I hope your year is great. Everybody, this is Raven. I am Cameron. And thank you for watching Wine and Controversy.